Welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Doc Squiffy channel. So today we're going to talk about viruses, fire stick viruses, and how to check for viruses on fire sticks. I find this is quite important, um, especially for anybody who doesn't update their fire stick, and for anybody who installs third party apps, streaming apps, what apps from unknown sources. It's very key to know what we're doing. Before we do that though, if you can, do remember, check out the channel, do remember to hit the subscribe. We are closing in on 360,000 subscribers which is a crazy amount of people and all we bring you here is lots of videos regarding fire sticks um streaming we're going to be going on to other devices again soon updates launches vpns tech all on one channel so uh, let's get cracking onto our fire stick so what have we got we've got two different ways you can check for um viruses on your fire stick the first way we're going to install from my website this way can be used on any device including your mobile phone so if you want to test it on your mobile phone while we're doing it some of you may have seen this but it's always worth running it i run it monthly some people may run it weekly depends how much you install onto your device if you're a regular installer of apps or changing of apps or updating apps and if you do not update your fire stick as well for their security checks i'd recommend running these virus checks very regularly so to install the first one, we're going to go to the Amazon App Store, we're going to go to search, and we're going to get ourselves a downloader app. Some of you may have it already, which is brilliant. Then we're going to scroll down to where it says downloader, you're going to click it, and you're going to select this to install it. Do not open it yet. After that, we are going to go to our settings tab at the end here. You're going to go to My Fire TV, Developer Options, ADB debugging, turn that on. Install unknown apps, turn that on. So you turn it on for downloader. Okay, you select downloader, turn it on. Brilliant. Now we can open that downloader app. So if you can't find it, just go back in here again, search, downloader. There we go. Open it. And in here, we're going to go to my website. Again, if you want to test it first, the link is directly underneath the video. Um, or you can type in here docsquiffy.com forward slash downloads, okay? Or to save you time, if you're on a Fire Stick using the downloader app, if you type 75726, select go, and this will take you to my website. While you're waiting, this is a prime time to drop me some comments. Let me know if you find any viruses on this checkers when we go through, and I'll explain what to do about them or what they may be. And we're going to show you two examples, guys. So remember, one is from my website and one is directly from Amazon. Right, once here, scroll down. And we're going to go Downloaders and Tools. And we are going to get the Virus Total app. Virus Total, Android and Fire Stick. We scroll down. If you see any ads, you just click the cross to close them. And we click Download. This will download in seconds. And behind my head now, let me move my head out of the way. We click on Install. And then you click done. Do not open it yet. You can then click delete. This will help stop clogging up your Fire Stick. And delete. Brilliant. Now back to your home screen. We're going to open up Virus Total. It will be here. Yours, if it's not here, click the three squares at the end. All the way down, and your Virus Total will be at the bottom here. It has this icon here. And we can open it. And as you see, the app doesn't look amazing. This is mainly because it's actually a mobile app, but it works perfectly fine. What you will then get is a pop-up. When we get there. Here. Virus Total needs Google Play services. This doesn't mean it doesn't work. So you can just OK it and ignore it. And what you will see there is on the side of all my apps, they have green ticks. Okay, green ticks. And you can scroll down and you want green ticks on everything. If you get a red tick the app needs to be re removed, okay? It's simple as if it's red, I'd recommend removing it, especially with the amount of apps which have been flagging recently, um, get it removed. Um, go and try and find a different streamer. This is my opinion, if you trust the app, go with it, but a red tick means it's been reported onto the virus websites, um, so it's worth deleting. You may see some have detections on them anyway. Um, these are official apps with detections. This would be a prime example of a false positive. Um, there they are, they're green ticks, so they're not flagged as red overall. But again, if you have loads of detected in one app and it's still green, 
I'd look into it, maybe remove it. You can Google these as well if you want to. So you type in the android.hiddenad.gk and it will tell you what's flagging it. Um, but again, if they're green ticks, keep them. If they are red ticks, you need to remove them. And to remove an app, you go to settings, applications, manage installed applications, and then you can just remove one in here. So you can just click on it, click on uninstall, and it'll be gone. Right, the next app we're going to use, it does a very similar thing. Um, I'm not a big fan of it for the app checking side, but it has a lot of tools in it. If you go to find, search, type in here, uh, Def Squid. You'll see it underneath. Get it installed and then open it. Okay, so you've got a virus scan here. Here you can scan all your apps in one go, or you can select an individual app to scan and it will scan it, okay? Harmless. So you can select whichever app you want to and it will scan them individually. So this has a harmful on it, but it's an official app which Virus Total found as not malicious. It has that same thing in there as we saw a second ago. Maybe you want to look into it a bit further. This came from the official Amazon store. It's not one I'm massively worried about, but they both detected it had something. Whereas Virus Total does a deeper scan, detects it as fine, but this one does show you it is in there, okay? So it does detect something, but it doesn't explain what it is. I'm not the this isn't my favourite for virus scanning, but it's good. You've got a cleaner, you've got a speed test and a privacy test, so it might be worth installing anyway. Um, and that's both of them on there for you. Let me know in the comments which ones you prefer. And before we leave, if you can, remember, this is the Doc Squiffy channel. Do hit that subscribe button. Check out the rest of the videos. We've got tons of videos like this for you on here. We will bring you a video like this most months just to remind you to get these virus checks done and stay safe online. And a quick word for one of our partners before we leave. We would recommend using a VPN if you are streaming or online. So the link directly underneath is for IP Vanish VPN. Um, it will keep you safe online on unlimited devices, all there for you in one app. $3.75 a month just to keep yourself safe, especially if using third-party apps, especially if streaming online, and especially if you, obviously, forms of accessing different apps and stopping your own ISP restricting you, things like this. Brilliant. I've been Doc Squiffy. All my socials are linked underneath as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.